Hello, my name is Gary Mefford. I'm a career respiratory therapist and the senior manager of clinical operations with Hayek Medical. To start, we at Hayek would like to send a shout out with props to those clinicians who have been out there at the bedside. RTs are one of the heroes of healthcare and you are the heroes of the heroes and we say thanks. As we all know, lungs have been under assault over the last year like never before. We at Hayek provide an additional and potentially better alternative to treating sick lungs. We've been receiving reports from around the world on the acute yet lingering symptoms. Our team has directly assisted with, and we've also been receiving some very exciting reports of dramatic clinical successes treating these patients with biphasic curos ventilation using the Hayek RTX ventilator when other treatments have failed. With the heavy toll on lungs brought on by this pandemic, it is imperative for us to make as many clinicians as we can aware that we've got something that can really make a difference for these COVID-19 acute respiratory failure patients and other acute respiratory failure patients and ARDS patients in the ICUs. We have put together what we feel is a good set of strategies for using the Hayek RTX and BCV to try to prevent progression of the illness by maintaining an open lung. For more complete explanation of our BCV COVID acute respiratory failure algorithm, we've recorded a video that's currently on our YouTube channel. With this open lung concept, using mainly the continuous negative extrathoracic pressure setting, BCV can optimize lung volume, restoring normal FRC by recruiting and stabilizing lung units with the more physiologic negative pressure ventilation. Inflation patterns in the lungs, lung volume, and PDF ratio improvements are similar to proning with a much simpler and easier tolerated intervention. The first step is to apply continuous negative or CNEP on recognizing that you have a symptomatic COVID-19 patient that is hypoxemic with the goal, whenever possible, to catch them early in the hypoxemic fall. BCV offers a potential for improvements at any point, but has the greatest potential when applied early. Apply supplemental oxygen as needed with whatever devices are going to work best for the patient. BCV combines well with every type of oxygen support device. Apply continuous negative around minus 15. Lung volumes have shown about a 20% increase in FRC with the application of minus 15. Typical response is for SATs to increase, heart rate and respiratory rate to decrease. Continuous negative has been reported to decrease the acute sense of breathlessness in these patients. If the patient does not respond adequately in 15 to 30 minutes, increase incrementally or make more negative by two to five centimeters to minus 30 or minus 40 of intracuros pressure. BCV may shift the cardiopulmonary function enough to prevent intubations. For those that must be tubed with this extra thoracic interface, BCV can be used concomitantly with positive pressure ventilation. It can be continued post intubation for recruitment and lung protection and then used to help get those patients extubated more quickly by decreasing weaning and post-extubation alveolar collapse. BCV has also been used to recruit the most fragile lungs, bridging patients from ECMO. The RTX's airway clearance modalities can also be brought to bear if needed. BCV is one of the most potent airway clearance tools you will ever encounter. Extrathoracic high-frequency chest wall oscillation through the Curos creates a very powerful interthoracic wave that we can adjust to be very gentle or very intense depending on the needs of the patient. The oscillation breath type cycles to a cough breath type in the BCV airway clearance treatment mode or module. BCV is a great tool to facilitate a stalled weaning process. By maintaining FRC at normal levels through the spontaneous breathing trial, the load to capacity balance can be shifted back in the patient's favor and they will usually tolerate the spontaneous breathing trial longer before signs of fatigue develop. BCV can break the cycle of failure and put the wean back on track. Many times, post-extubation, weaker patients may have a drop in SATs with increased work of breathing that can lead back to reintubation. BCV in continuous negative can help prevent this loss of FRC. For the patient who is high risk of reintubation, BCV can be used in control or synchronized for non-invasive ventilation as a safety net that can provide rest non-invasively and keep the patient progressing without having to reintubate. We've heard of sites that have nearly 90% mortality rate for intubated ventilated patients with this illness. We have something to offer that is a good alternative to intubation and positive pressure ventilation without the many side effects. BCV provides an alternative that can result in shorter stays, less potential for intubation, and once intubated if needed, a shorter duration of positive pressure ventilation. 
the Hayek RTX and BCV is the non-invasive lung tool that can really make a difference for your patients, COVID and otherwise from ER and ICU to home. Use BCV first, you may not have to use anything second. BCV, a better way to ventilate. Contact us at Hayek Medical. We would really like to help you with these most challenging patients. Thank you.